let's log into the keycloak application to configure the authorizations you can see here users are available at the ream level which means at the organization level and you have ream roles as well as the client roles here client role which means the users in an organization can have the access to more than one application and there can be the roles which can be shared across applications or across clients and also there might be a scenario where in you will have the roles within the client itself in a sense these roles will be specific to this application and not available for some other application within the organization now if we want to enable the authorization configuration within the key cloak the key cloak provides the authorization configuration within the clients the reason being the rest api paths will be very specific to each of the clients and those paths will not be shared across the clients or across the applications so let's see how can we enable the authorization as you might have seen in i think part two of this playlist we did not enable the authorization here it was off so now is the time to enable this and if you see here before enabling the authorization you will not find any tab with authorization configuration here let's enable this and save once we enable, we'll find a tab for the authorization. The policy enforcement and decision strategy, this is generic configuration. We'll discuss on this in later videos. For now, just remember that if the policy enforcement mode is enforcing, it means if there is a REST API that is not defined in the resources configuration, in the key cloak configuration, and if you try to access that REST API, it gives the error. So here you see there are several uh, tabs, namely resources, scopes, policies, and permissions. Right now we'll see resources, policies, and permissions. Whenever we enable the authorization, Keycloak adds by default uh, the default resource, default policy, and default permissions. If you see here, the policy type is JavaScript and we do not need this right now. We will remove and we will configure our own policy, the default policy and resources and all that stuff. Let me delete this. Create a resource. Here you will see that we need to provide a name for this resource and the list of URLs that this resource points to. We will not concentrate on any other properties. These two properties are enough for now. Default resource and i am gonna give slash star you might have seen the previous deleted one was also slash star but it was pointing out to a javascript policy that's the reason i have deleted and i'm just recreating it save here the resource is created let's go to the policies delete the policy and permission will also be deleted let me create a policy here here you'll see there are several options for you to choose the policy type user in a sense you can specify the list of users who will be granted access using this policy time policy specifies a time frame during which all the authenticated users can access the resources and roles as we already know role based access you have other options as well we'll look into mainly the user based role based and group policy type now let me configure for the role base default policy i'm not going to give any description and adding the roles since i'm trying to add the access for all the resources just being a authenticated user and not a specific role based user i have to select the default roles dive dev here and the reason being so i'm not selecting the required and all that stuff we'll see in our further videos uh, what these mean being a required or the logic positive and negative and all that stuff so i'll show you 
why we chose this roles type dev let me save it if you see whenever we have created a user it will be assigned with this default roles type dev here for any user if you see this role will be assigned by default so that's the reason we have selected that role and since the policy is defined we need to provide the permissions here you can create two types of permissions one is the resource based permission and the scope based permission right now only the resource based permission is enabled because we have defined only the resource information and not the scope scope we'll see in later videos let's create here default permission and we are not going to enable any other thing the resources which we want to give is default resource the policy for this resource is the default policy here you are trying to map the resource and the policy the permission basically says this is my resource available and for this resource these are the policies that needs to be implied or applied right now here we are not making any other changes for the decision strategies let me save so basically what we have done here is we are defining we are trying to define the policy for all of the rest apis in a sense all the rest apis should be accessible to all the users and we'll see in our further videos for specific configurations for our quarkus application which we have defined now let's jump to the quarkus configuration we'll see what quarkus configurations are required to connect to the key clock authentication and authorization 